Hey there, how's it going? Mickey Munn's back with Munn's Racing and I have another video for you guys this week. I want to coach you. Before you do anything, don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Your support is much appreciated. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I want to coach you at Orange Bowl. Uh, real quick, content of the video. First, we're going to do a little bit about me, why I coach, how I coach, what kind of athletes I like to coach. And then we're going to talk about the logistics of uh, getting set up to coach you. Short and sweet. My name is Mickey Munns. I'm originally from California. I started sailing at age 14 out of King Harbor Yacht Club. I've qualified for three Worlds teams in the I-420, and I have been to two Worlds. I'm a sophomore at BU currently. I am campaigning for the Olympics in the 470. I also do keelboat sailing and I coach as well. My my experience is mainly in double-handed boats, meaning two people. So Club 420, I 420, FJ, high school and college racing as well. So why do I coach? I believe that every kid who wants to succeed should have access to the resources to do so. I have been in programs where we've had very few resources. When I started sailing, I was a small club with one coach and I really longed for a mentor who could help me get to the level I wanted to get to. On the other hand, I have also experienced what it's like to have access to the best resources in the world. As a member of Lysot and Team USA, I had access to the top coaching, good equipment, and it made a huge difference. I also know that a lot of kids don't know how professional and how serious that junior sailing can be, just club level racers. And so when they do find out, it's really transformative and, and they progress so quickly once they're exposed to that environment. So I believe that it is my responsibility to bring that environment and intensity to those who want it. Now we'll get into the coaching philosophy. The four tenets of my coaching are effort, teamwork, respect, and accountability. So let's talk about those one at a time. Uh, first of all, effort. You have to try, you have to want it. If you're just going through the motions, you're not going to get better. And if you try your best and you don't get the result you want, I can't fault you for that. I can respect only your effort. Next is teamwork. It usually isn't private coaching. It's usually group coaching, which means we're all working together more or less to accomplish the same goal, which is to improve. The way I look at it is a rising tide lifts all. We want to collaborate and share techniques so that everyone can improve. Respect. This is not just respecting each other, but also your equipment, your parents, coaching staff, and your own effort. We need to have respect for each other. Uh, it's one of the core building blocks of a good team. Accountability. Accountability to me means owning your successes and owning your failures. When you have maybe a maneuver you're not satisfied with, instead of blaming it on you know, your crew or your equipment, you instead want to just take it as it is, don't judge it, and find the things you can improve. At the same time, we want to own our successes. When you have a good race, you say, I had a good race. I'm happy with that. I did this, this, and this right. Here's what I need to work on next time. Accountability, very important. And then solutions, not excuses, just a, a saying that I have. We don't want to blame our successes or failures on someone else. We want to take responsibility for it and find the things that we can tweak to get even better. A little bit more into the actual sailing. Uh, we are process oriented as opposed to results oriented, which means that we are focusing on doing the best maneuvers we can, uh, the best tactics we can. We're not super focused on or how we finish because we can't control that. We can influence it through our efforts, but at the end of the day, you have not as much control over your finishes as you do your effort during the day. Next is we are looking to make a 1% improvement every single day, every race, every drill, and over the course of a year, that's a 3,800% improvement, 38 times better. Last thing, a good coach of mine used to ask what the difference between a smart man and a wise man was. And he always said, a smart man learns from his own mistakes, but a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. So it's important to be observant. And when you see a team that's doing something well, you wanna copy it. When you see a team that's doing something not so well, you wanna note that and then avoid that. Finally is a hierarchy of needs. Traditionally in high school and college sailing, it's a pyramid with boat handling at the bottom and then boat speed and then tactics. But for 
long core sailing where you're in a straight line for a long time and double handed, meaning two people, I think it needs to be a little more granular. But at the bottom is boat speed. If you are going in a straight line for five minutes at a time, you need to be able to go fast. Next is boat handling. You do need to be able to get your kite up and down, do tacks and jibes, get around the course. Next is teamwork. To me, this encompasses roles, meaning who does what, verbals, which is how you're communicating, and then routine, what are you doing in the, when you get in the boat park, water before you race, in a race. Teamwork, I believe, is what ties together the physical skills of sailing your boat, which is boat handling boat speed, with the mental skills of actually racing, which is tactics and strategy. What strategy? Strategy is how you would sail if there were no other boats on the course. If you just needed to get around the course as fast as you could with the wind speed, wind direction, and current that you have, and course bias. Finally, tactics is how you are managing the other boats around you in order to not lose places and to move up places. So tactics is more boat on boat, covering things like that. What do I look for in athletes? First of all, you have to be self-motivated. You have to want it. Effort is so important in the sport of sailing. If you are someone who just goes through the motions, then I'm probably not the coach for you. You need to be able to listen and then experiment. You can change, tweak it the way you like. But if you never listen to begin with, you can't make that, that transition that gain. Next is you need to be able to take notes and ask questions. First of all, notebook is essential for every practice. Next, we help teammates. If there are jobs that need to be done and it's really important that you help your teammate, you know, get out of the water or roll their sails and pick up the slack. When we do that, we keep everything moving quickly and smoothly and we guarantee we are making good use of our time. In addition to asking questions of me, I also want you to communicate with me and give me feedback. I, I wanna be on the same page as you. With that collaborative process of asking questions and giving feedback, we can stay on the same page and grow together. Finally, a good sailor is introspective, which means they are always reflecting on what they did well, what they could have done better, and how they're gonna fix that. Uh, cool. So now that you know all this, I wanna work with you. I am doing, for a limited time, uh, free phone consultations. I am looking currently for a group of four to six for the Orange Bowl Regatta in December. If you're interested in that, please shoot me an email and we can do a quick phone consultation. If you are going to Orange Bowl and you don't have a coach, if you need a better coach, or if you're on the fence about going to Orange Bowl at all, do not hesitate to reach out. We're going to do a strategy session where we talk about what your goal in sport is, how you're going to approach that, you know, maybe like a, a year long focus, and then what we're gonna do coming up to your next peak event, which could be Orange Bowl, figure out what, what your strong points are, what you need to work on, and ultimately develop a personalized training plan to help you progress the way you'd like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting up new videos as soon as we can. I have good news to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.